Hi, um, my name is Zyra, and um, as we were here with Catherine, um, we were actually invited with from um, some of our friends. Um, and I think this was like everything meant to be, uh, because I've been going to church, listening to the word, but I just feel like I keep on struggling every single day. It's just a battle that I cannot do it myself. And coming, uh, well, it all started this morning. Like as a, like we woke up, is it was just been a struggle, just trying to get here. Um, but we still we made it. In the moment, like I was walking while seeing um, Catherine, like preaching the word and everything um, I just felt scared I felt an anxiety I felt something that it was it wasn't gonna let me go and he knew like he knew and I started just going back to my childhood back to all the where all the pain came from just going back to like generations my grandparents it was really hard because I was like listening to her thinking like what is this little lady gonna do to you like she's nothing like she's not gonna do anything for you you just go like you just waste your time coming here part of me did believe because like I know Jesus is there but part of me it's like no like he he's like he's not real like like don't believe in him like she's not gonna do anything this is just all, all an act and that's why I kept on thinking like this is an act like she, they're just people that they're, they're just acting and and it's not it's really not because when she gathered everybody just to come close to her like I just kind of stay I was like oh she's not gonna pick me I'm like she's not gonna see me like I'm just like a nobody like as same way like nobody sees me and this is how I always felt, like I always felt in that shell where like nobody sees me. So all this negative thing just kept on coming, like she's not gonna do anything. And finally, like I just started praying and her looking at me, it's just like broke me more because like she's looking at me, but it's not her looking at me. It's not, this is God looking at me. This is God trying to tell me enough is enough. Like, this is it, you need to leave her body. I don't remember anything, but the only thing I do remember is fighting. Fighting for him, fighting with him. I was down there like, just in fire, like picking myself. And I just saw like angels gathering me around and I just saw this huge light and like just picking him up from that fire and where I was like trapped. He set me free, he set those chains out. Like he completely set me free. Like I just can't explain how he grabbed me and he said, enough my child, like enough for suffering. You're not gonna suffer anymore. Like it's, this is, if your new beginning is starting. You need to put all this behind because I'm taking this away from me. I'm, I'm gonna take it and this is what I came here for just to love you to protect you and I always been there like I was going to darkness but I was coming to light at the same time and as like closer I was get to darkness that's when I hurt my daughters like I heard like a boy saying mommy like come back I want my mommy back and this is what like it, it helped me like to fight stronger and fight harder because this is what I've been doing it for. I want to set myself free because I want my family to be free. Not just me, but like the generation coming, their kids, my grandkids. I know they're struggling because of all these curses that we had from all these things that we had. And I felt like me coming to God and finally reveal myself to Him. I feel like I opened those doors for my whole generation for Him to finally be at peace with Him. And I just want to tell like everybody like, you know, this is real. This is not a fake thing. I never knew I was going to come here and just be delivered this way. I came here being naive like this wasn't real, but this is real. And this feeling that I feel is, I just feel as like light as a feather. That's all I feel. And I know like now I feel his love. I feel his protection. And I know from now on, I know that I'm gonna be, he's gonna be there no matter what. And he's gonna be delivering everybody. And and I hope that all this, like it helps somebody because this is the best feeling.
just walking with Jesus, it's the best feeling ever. Just getting to know him, like getting close to him. This is the great, the greatest feeling like you can ever feel. And this is real. This is so real. Like this is what God, God wanted us all. Not just me, not just my husband, not just my family, but everybody and you guys out there seeing this. This is what God wants for you to guys to see that he's real, that he is with you guys, that it's time for you guys to break through from all that. Break through, just set yourself free and just, just receive God in your heart like as I did. And just want to thank everybody. Thank you, thank you for all this, all this. Thank Amen. You.